Welcome to Japan, home of the Bird Cafe. So I was cruising and perusing around downtown Tokyo, came across this bird cafe and decided to give it a go. Now the concept of this place is simple, real simple. Pay a little money to spend time with birds. So I boosted inside this place and immediately saw a shitload of bird gear for sale. Just one look at these plushies and it seemed to me like the kawaii factor just shot off the charts. I mean, take a look at this bird, for example. It's so kawaii, it literally boggles the mind. What else we got here? Bird socks? Holy shit. I can't help but think that buying a pair of these would improve my life immeasurably. I mean, they may just be decorated pieces of fabric, but in some small way, they touched my heart. And check this out. We got a budgie bride and groom wedding mascot set. I mean, hey, I'll be the first to admit, I'm not the world's biggest bird fan, but something about seeing all this buck wild bird gear gets me pretty excited. I might even go as far as to say as it gets me real excited. So I figured right about now all this bird gear was an appetizer and I wanted to check out the main fucking course. I wanted to check out some real birds, can you blame me? So I cruised on over to the bird zone. Now I noticed that all the birds had their backs towards me, but I didn't think much of it at the time. Hell, I even noticed that some of the birds avoided eye contact with me. It happened so frequently that it no longer seemed like a mere chance occurrence. I mean, take a look at this bird. He's frantically pacing back and forth as if to say he don't like my kind around here. Now this isn't the first time I experienced animal-based discrimination in Japan and it probably won't be the last. But somehow, some way, I've got a feeling these birds don't have a problem with my skin color. I've got a feeling these birds have a problem with my sexual orientation. I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking things, but the mere thought of it got me pretty stressed out, so I decided to take a break from the birds. I felt like I needed some time in a safe space. Can you blame me? I mean, come on here, people. I would have thought that by this day and age, heterophobic birds would be the last thing I'd have to worry about. I don't know, maybe if I show the birds that I'm a nice guy, they'll learn to love me for me. Maybe if I show the birds true kindness, they'll learn to let go of the blind hate they hold deep in their heart. So I cruised on over to the bird zone and the maestro gave me a cockatiel. Now that cockatiel was pretty kawaii and it maintained eye contact so I felt pretty encouraged. However, the moment it sensed my sexual orientation, its true heterophobic colors shined through. It started frantically crawling up my shoulder, making as if to attack my neck at any given moment. <laughs> Next, the fiend crawled on the back of my neck, which it knew to be the most vulnerable position on my body. The savagery was so intense that we had to lock that bird away, but he still tried to attack me through the cage. Now right about now, I just couldn't believe what had happened to me. I was in a sort of state of shock. In my mind, I knew that I should leave the bird cafe immediately, but the maestro fed me another bird and I felt compelled to stay. To add insult to injury, this bird was avoiding me at all costs. I felt like I was in an abusive relationship of the avian variety. Now with a little coaxing from the maestro, the bird did go on my hand, but he was none too happy about it. I mean, just look at that bird. You can see the heterophobia burning from his eyes. After staring me down and deciding once and for all that he'd had enough of me, he flew away. The maestro tried to give him back, but he ripped himself away with a feverish intensity. He aggressively landed on her head, causing an incredible panic to fill the room. The maestro tamed the beast the only way she knew how, sunflower seeds. I tried to pet the bigoted bird to calm his nerves, but he was having none of that. So while he was occupied, I took the opportunity to escape that bird zone. Now the incredible trauma I just experienced could only be sated by one thing, stress eating. I mean, I noticed all the bird pies they had chillaxing in the fridge over here, and I decided to get me one of those bad boys. I got me a cockatiel pie to be exact. Now this kawaii as fuck pie helped me to forget the incredible discrimination I just experienced. Nevertheless, my psychological scars from these heterophobic birds are immense. Anyway, if you want to see some non-discriminatory birds, then feel fucking free to check out some of my other videos. I've got a video on buck wild burb gotcha pone, and I've got a video on lieutenant burb, just to name a few. 
I've got those links in the description box. And as always, thanks for watching this video. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.